Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 4, Week 4. In Week 4, we're dealing with time signature. Remember the top number tells you how many notes to count in each bar, and the bottom number tells you what type of notes to count. So we're saying the top number tells you how many notes to count in each bar, then the bottom number tells us what type of note to count. So bottom numbers means two minim, half note, four crochet, quarter note, eight quaver, eighth note. So the time signature for two means count four minims, which is half notes per bar. For two means counting four minims in a bar. Simple or compound. Simple or compound time signature have an undotted note as the main beat, and each beat is subdivided into two. Simple time signatures have two, three, or four as the top number. Compound time signatures have a dotted number as the main bit, and each bit is divided into three. Compound time signatures have six, nine, or twelve as the top number. So, simple time have undotted. Simple time signature have two, three, or four. Compound time signature have a dotted note as the main bit. And it's 6, 9, or 12 as the top number. Examples of compound time. 6, 8, 9, 8, 12, 8. 6, 8. As they said, you remember we said compound time signatures have 6, 9, or 12 as the top number. So now here we have 6, 8. We have 6 on top and 8 at the bottom. And this is how a 6 8 looks like. The first one is the dotted crochet, two of them. And when you break that dotted crochet, one dotted crochet, breaking it gives you three quavers. And when you break those three quavers, you get six semi quavers. So all in all, it's 12, six quavers, six semi quavers, plus six semi quavers equals 12, three quavers plus three quavers equals six. One dotted crochet plus another dotted crochet gives us six eight time signature. And now breaking it down again, we found that our six eight breaking it into one, two, three, four bars. First bar is crochet. Quaver, quaver, crochet. Second bar is crochet, quaver, quaver, crochet. Third bar, quaver, it's crochet, quaver, quaver, crochet. Last bar, dotted mini. So this is how you break it. You can have it as a two dotted crochet, or you can have a crochet, quaver, quaver, crochet crochet, quaver, quaver, crochet, or you can have quavers, three quavers beam together, and another three quavers beam together, or you can have six semi quavers beamed together, and another six semi quavers beamed together. 
or you can have a dotted mini. Examples of 6, 8, 9, 8, 12, 8. We have 9, 8. 9, 8. We have two types of 9, 8 here. Yeah. Let's take a look at the first one. So here what we did, we started with a crochet qu uh, rest and a quiver rest. So you see, it, if you remember the previous example that we had, it was 6, 8. And we had dotted, two dotted crochets. So now it's 9, 8. And we have crochet rest and a quiver rest. We have crochet, dotted crochet, and a crochet tied together, and a quiver. Next bar, we have dotted crochet, another dotted crochet, and another dotted crochet for treble clef. And for base clef, we have a different rhythm, which is crochet, a quiver, crochet, quiver, three quivers beamed together, crochet, quiver, crochet, quiver, three quivers beamed together. And we have dotted crochet, dotted crochet, dotted crochet, beamed, I mean uh, tied together, another crochet, dotted crochet, three quivers beamed together. A mini quiver rest, quiver rest, dotted crochet rest. This is how we break our nine eight. And another example of nine eight we have dotted crochet and two pairs of three quivers beamed together. Next bar we have dotted quiver beamed together with semi quiver and quiver. We have crochet quiver three quivers beamed together. Three quivers beamed together Quiver, dotted, I mean quiver, beam together with two same quivers and a quiver, quiver, two same quivers and a quiver. Crochet, dotted crochet, dotted crochet rest, two quivers, two same quivers beam together with two quivers three quivers beam together, three quivers beam together, two same quivers, quiver and a quiver. So you see how we can write and subdivide our 9-8 rhythms. Example of 12-8. We have, in one bar we need to have 12, remember, the top tells us what, how many, the bottom, what kind. So here in 12.8, we need to have 12 quav uh, quavers. So let's see if we have 12 quavers. 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we know that crochet has two quivers. So
So we have three plus two in a crochet plus one three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve then we second bar three six three six nine twelve so you see everything is added together to give us what the 12 8 means so simple time is 4 4 compound time is 12 8 so we see our examples of 9 8 12 8 4 4 So now let's take a look at double, triple, or quadruples. Time signatures show you how many beats per bar, which is not always the same as how many notes. All the time signatures you need to know at this case have two, three, or four main beats per bar. Notice that no time signature shows that there are six beats or nine beats per bar. When a time signature has 6, 9, and 12 as the top number, you need to divide this number by 3. When a time signature has 3, six, has 6, 9, and 12 as the top number, you need to divide this number by 3. To work out how many bits per bar there are. If there are two main bits per bar, the time signature is duple, which is 2, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 6, 8, 6, 4, and 6, 8, which are double time signatures. The top number is always 2 or 6. If there are three main bits per bar, the time signature is triple, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 8, and 9, 8 which are triple time signatures. The top number is always 3 or 9. If there are 4 main bits per bar, the, times, the time signature is quadruple, which is 4, 2, 4, 4, 4, 8, and 12, 8. The top number is always 4 or 12. When nodes have to be grouped together with themes, or rests have to be added, you need to be careful about how about how you do it. You need to know whether the time signature is double, triple, or quadruple. Then use notes, rest, and themed groups, which make those bits easy to see. This means that long notes or rest values should fall on the beat and not between the main beats. A break in a group of themed notes will show where the new beat starts to. When you beam together, notes the same rule applies beam the notes together to make the complete bits easy to see look at these two examples which contain contains the same note values but in different time signatures six eight and three four same notes different time signatures different time signatures but same notes. Notes are the same. As 6 8 is double time, we need to beam the notes into two groups so that we create two dotted bits per bar. Let's take a look. So this is our 6 8, and we have quaver, semi quaver, semi quaver, quaver, semi quaver, semi quaver, quaver, semi quaver, semi quaver. So now, when beaming it together, we need to make two groups. So now our two groups will be quaver, here's our quaver, two semi quavers, and here our two semi quavers, and a quaver. And this is that quaver. So now, it's one group. 
second group one two here yeah, our two same quavers one quaver two same quavers one quaver two same quavers so that's our six eight grouped together but three four is triple time we need to have three undotted bit papers so we create three groups let's take a look three four still quaver same quaver same quaver quaver same quaver same quaver quaver same quaver same quaver first note is quaver here's our quaver and two same quavers quaver two same quavers quaver two same you see they are all similar but divided into three groups now the new time signatures for grade four are as follows four eight four quavers eighth note pepper simple quadruple time then for three dotted minims half notes pepper compound double time and six four two dotted minims half notes pepper compound double time some people find it tricky to spot the difference between three two and six four this is because the bits are longer notes and therefore beams are not so often seen as in three four and six eight to help tell the difference remember that 3 2 is double time 3 equals simple triple always and 6 4 is compound time 6 equals compound double if you see 3 minims half notes in the bar it has to be 3 2 if you see 2 dotted minims half notes it's 6 4 3 2 6 4 3 2 means three minims six four means two dotted minims table of reference these are the time signatures you need to know for grade four and their types simple double simple triple simple quadruple compound double compound triple compound quadruple we have simple triple two four two two simple triple three eight three four three two simple quadruple four eight four 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 two compound triple six eight six four compound triple nine eight nine four compound quadruple twelve eight Thank you for watching and let's meet again next time.